Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be radical acceptance. Before I jump into the content, please subscribe and share this with anyone you think it may benefit. Guys, when you're with a narcissist or ending a narcissistic relationship, there are many terms you need to understand. One of them is radical acceptance. Now what this means is, you radical acceptance is difficult to, to practice, but you must do it to get over the relationship. It's just, it's the way it works. What radical acceptance is, is actually understanding the reality of what has happened. In other words, um, let's say that you're, the, the relationship has ended and you can't wrap your head around the fact that you were just with a narcissist and, and you gave and you loved and, and used all your empathy and you gave all your effort and time and money and energy to the relationship and you can't understand how this person, which is the narcissist, could just take and maybe discard you and, not, and throw you away and not look back. That's a little rough, but it's real. If that was your experience, it, it certainly was mine. But the point is, there comes a time on the healing path, and this will take, uh, it will take a lot of time to get here. But when you finally understand that you were with a narcissist, and that narcissism does exist, you need to utilize radical acceptance. What that, in, what that is, again, is just actually coming to terms with the relationship that you were just in, and that you were with a narcissist. Now, radical acceptance, it, it's when you don't really want to believe the reality of your situation and you need to. So if you practice radical acceptance, it means you're accepting the reality of your situation, what has just happened, even though it's hard for you to process and comprehend and, and understand that you were with a narcissist in your relationship, let's say. It's real, it happened, and here you are. Now radical acceptance, it's not just used with, with uh, narcissism, it's used with anything in life. Um, I'm not gonna give examples of that, but the point being, it's when you actually, you're at a point where you're in disbelief and you're shocked and you're like, what is this? I don't understand, how could this situation even be? And then you need to practice radical acceptance. Actually, it did happen. It's real. It's actually true. Like, you could say it with a death in the family or a death or something like that. And I'm a positive person. I don't like to use negative connotations like that, but maybe you're just like, I can't believe that person's gone. But they are and maybe you need to practice radical acceptance in that situation. But getting back to the narcissist, that's what you need to do. And this will take time, it will take effort and energy. You see, where, whereas probably you are an empath, you're certainly a kind, loving human being. You have given all of your love, time, energy, money, and effort into the relationship. And you can't or you couldn't understand how the narcissist could just take everything and not care and just keep taking and taking and not give. And maybe you try to change them. Maybe you did your best. Maybe you worked super hard in the relationship to make it work, to grow and to work towards the same goals, whereas the narcissist wasn't doing that. The narcissist was simply being a parasite and taking from you and sucking every bit of energy out of you. Money, kindness, efforts, love, everything. And you kept doing, giving more and more and more, and you couldn't understand why. The relationship ended, and then maybe you were discarded, maybe you ended it but you couldn't figure out what, what was with that person. I don't get it. Then you understood narcissism, and here you are. I had to personally practice radical acceptance of probably four or five months out, probably four months out of my ending of my relationship, and it was difficult, I must tell you, but it's real. It's, it's actually necessary, it was for me, to understand that six years of my life was spent in an abusive relationship. I could not fathom it, because the whole time during my relationship, I was thinking I was in a relationship with one other person, being a stepdad and moving towards the same goals when in fact that could not be further from the truth. I looked up this definition, understood it, took my time to process it, applied it in many different situations, no more so than my narcissistic abuse relationship, and I understood, and I saw the light. Now again, this is not something easy to practice, but I highly recommend, if you're in a state of confusion now, or if you're still in the fog and you don't really understand the person you were with, or why they could do this, or how they could do this, the cold hard facts are because they're a narcissist and this is what they do. They manipulate, they lie, they steal, they cheat, they deceive, they destroy. That's what it is. And if you can learn to understand and practice radical acceptance, believe me, your healing path will, will blossom, it will grow and move forward. Keep in mind, I'm not suggesting that everybody drop what you're doing right now and practice radical acceptance. This will come to you in time when you are ready, when you're prepared, and when you've exhausted all other avenues to try to wrap your head around the relationship. That's when it happened for me. You see, I did all my research, and I continue to do so daily, but I did all my research early, early on. 
I looked up the terms, I figured it out, I grew. Every day I expanded and compounded my information and knowledge and insight. Radical acceptance was a difficult one to understand because I personally did not want to believe I was with a narcissist. I personally did not want to accept the change that had just happened. I did not want to actually embrace the fact that yes, I was discarded, thrown away like a piece of trash and that that person is not coming back and that that person does not care. But guess what? That's the reality. That was my reality. It may be yours, I can't tell you. What I can tell you is if you look up the term radical acceptance and actually read a couple different definitions of it, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about is exactly what it is. And if radical acceptance is where you are on the healing path, I strongly suggest you use it. Many people I talk with are currently saying to me, but, but I gave so much, how could they just not care about me? How could they not do this? I don't get it. I was so kind, I was so loving. I'm still here pining for them, I'm waiting for them. Guys, we're all on our own healing path. We're all headed in the same direction, taking different steps. The thing is, the narcissist will only come back if they want to use and abuse you for supply. Sorry, but that's real. They don't love you, they never have, they never will. They certainly didn't love me. So the sooner you can practice radical acceptance and understand that this is a necessary step on the path to healing, the better off you will be. When you are right, you will do it, but I strongly suggest look up the term, check it out, and understand everything I've told you in this video is spot on accurate. Guys, I'm gonna end the video, it's a quick one. I'll shoot another one later this evening. God bless you all. Use radical acceptance if you are there in this moment on your healing path. It's difficult, but it must be done. And the sooner you do it and understand that your healing path begins now and your best days are ahead of you, the better off you will be. Guys, like I said, I hope you liked the video. I love doing it. God bless you all. From beautiful Costa Rica, this is Andrew. Namaste.